The word of the Lord says in the book of Psalms, chapter 30, verse 5, for his anger is but for a moment and his favor is for a lifetime. Weeping may last for the night, but joy comes in the morning. He said, I'm turning things around. His favor is for a lifetime. For a lifetime. The favor that he's going to bring upon his people, the favor and the blessings that he's going to bring into your life, the peace that surpasses all understanding that he is bestowing upon you, even at this very moment, he said it will last. Many times when we ask God for peace, we ask him for strength. We ask him for a breakthrough and we are afraid that when we receive it, it may not last for very long. We're afraid that when we receive it and when we finally see it, it may not stay for very long. But I love that the Lord took the time to tell his people that it's for a lifetime. Because he knows the worries in our heart. He knows the things that we think about. He knows how we worry about tomorrow. And he says, the favor that I'm blessing you with, what I'm about to bring, the peace that I am placing in your home, it will last. Don't worry about tomorrow, but rejoice in the peace that I have brought. Allow yourself to be strengthened. Allow yourself to be renewed. Allow yourself to be restored in the favor and in the peace that, <coughs> that he has brought into your life even right now. In Lamentations chapter 3, verse 22, it says, The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Tomorrow, if you wake up and you need more strength, you will have it. Tomorrow, if you wake up and you need peace again, he will bring it. Tomorrow, if you wake up, and you feel weak again, he will renew and restore you again. In the morning, his mercies are new. And every day, he is faithful. Great is your faithfulness, God, because whatever it is that I'm crying for, you hear my call. You hear my plea. You hear what it is that I need, God, and you're faithful to complete and to provide. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases and never stops and knows no end. His mercies never end. His goodness never ends. His peace and his strength never ends. His abiding love never ends. He's hearing you. And his presence, the word of God says, in the morning you will see the glorious presence of the Lord. The presence that can bring strength, the presence that can bring joy, the presence that can bring fulfillment in your life, the presence that can renew and restore, the presence that can overcome the presence that can stop the enemy in his tracks. The presence that can stop every trap the enemy has set for you. The glorious presence of God. A presence that can deliver every man from depression. God's presence can take away every hurt and every pain it can deliver every addiction it can heal every brokenness it can put back the pieces of your heart together God 
the presence of God, the presence of the Lord, the presence of God. And he's offering it to you right now, church. He's offering it to you right now, people of God. He's giving you an opportunity. He has seen our tears. He has heard our cry. He has seen that we have cried unto him, asking and begging and pleading, Lord, would you bring a breakthrough? Would you show up? Would you come and heal? Would you bring my husband home? Would you bring my son back to your feet? God, would you make a way? I don't know what to do anymore. God has heard you in your very moment of your deep this darkness and he says right now I'm bringing my presence into your life and as you sit there in your home as you sit in your living room as you surround yourself with your family you are beginning to feel the presence of God even right now just manifest you're beginning to feel the presence of God just surround you and hold you and let you know that everything is going to be all right. His presence brings security when you have none. When you don't know how you're going to make it to another day. When you don't know how you're supposed to keep on fighting. How am I supposed to keep on walking, Lord? I have no strength. And he says, my presence is here today. to give you the strength that you need to keep on going. Don't give up, church. Don't give up mother who's been praying for her son. Don't give up husband who has been praying for your wife. Don't give up pastor who's been pleading and crying out for your sheep. Don't give up. Don't give up youth leader who's been asking God to bring in the youth don't give up but right there where you are I just encourage you right now to lift your hands and say Lord bring your presence here today I need your presence Jesus in the morning you will see the glorious presence of God and la mañana verás La presencia gloriosa de Dios. La presencia de cal que calma tormentas. La presencia que cambia situaciones. Que sana heridas. La presencia que trae fuerza y paz cuando no tienes. The Lord. The word of the Lord says in Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 3. Call to me and I will answer you. And I will tell you great and hidden things that you have not known. Lord, I don't know how it's going to turn out. I don't know how it's supposed to work out. Call unto me. And I will answer you. Lord, I don't know how this situation is supposed to work in my favor. Call unto me and I will tell you hidden things I have in store for you. Lord, I don't see, I don't see how I'm supposed to make enough to pay this bill. Call unto me and I will answer you, says the Lord. Psalms 34, 17 says, when the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears and delivers. When the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears and delivers them from all their troubles. I've never seen the righteous forsaken. Right now, I just encourage you to praise him. Te animo en esta noche, no más alaba. En medio de todo alaba. Porque su presencia habita en las alabanzas de su pueblo. Praise him. Because he abides in the praises of his people. Praise him. When you're crying. When you're suffering. When you're hurting. 
praise him because his presence comes and manifests in the midst of your praises. We praise you, Jesus. Just allow his presence to overtake you right now. cry for help the Lord hears and delivers them from all their troubles praise him right now church Dios no rechaza la oración oración es alimento nunca vi un justo sin respuesta o quedar en sufrimiento basta solamente esperar lo que Dios irá a hacer hora de vencer oh alaba simplemente alaba esta es hora no alaba en la prueba alaba está sufriendo alaba no importa alaba tu alabanza escuchará Quebrando caderas, sacando espinas Manda a sus ángeles contigo a luchar Él abre puertas, nadie puede cerrar Él trabaja para los que confía Camina contigo de noche y de día Levanta tus manos, tu victoria llegó Comienza a cantar y alaba a Dios Alaba a Dios, 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 alaba a Dios. La gente necesita entender lo que Dios está hablando. Camino, 
quebrando cadenas, sacando espinas, manda a sus ángeles contigo a luchar. Él abre puertas, nadie puede cerrar. Él trabaja para los que confía, camina contigo de noche y de día. Levanta tus manos, tu victoria llegó. Comienza a cantar y alaba a Dios. 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 person that is watching right now Jesus Father God that is just needing your presence that is needing your strength and your peace right now Lord I pray that you would just supply Father God and provide in a way that only you can I pray Jesus that every heart would be restored Father God I pray that their brokenness Father God would be mended Show up, Lord, for them. Let your presence be known even right there in their home and their family. Take over, God. Take over. Let them feel your presence. Father God, let them have joy in the morning. Settle their hearts, settle their minds. Bring peace, Jesus. Yes, Tus manos, tu victoria y comienza a dar. 